we need to extract the items from list two that are not over in list one. The first item is in the second list, so we don't want that. The second item is not over in this list, so we want to extract that off to the side. Now, last two videos, we saw how to do this with a formula. But in this video, we want to see how to do it with advanced filter. <laughs> Now, two videos ago, we learned how to use match to find the relative position of the item in the list. And because we're interested in the ones that are not in the list, we used is na. Now, the amazing thing is, is this formula we used, we actually do not need this helper column. We can come off to any cell off to the side and build the formula as if we were using that helper column. I'm going to look up the item in list two. Notice that's a relative cell reference, comma, within what lookup array? The entire list. F4 to lock it, comma, zero, because we're doing exact match. Now watch what happens when I Control Enter. That just tells me the relative position of the item in list two over in list one. Now I'm going to cheat for a second and copy it down. Notice now F2, it's looking at Healthy Garden. NA is what we're interested in. Control-Z to undo that. F2, and just like we did two videos ago, is NA. Control-Enter, false, because produce is in that list. If I copy it down, true, because that is not over in this list. Control-Z, and here's the amazing thing about Advanced Filter, up in Data. Sort and filter, there's the button. We first have to click inside the list, list two. Now we click Advanced Filter, Advanced Filter dialog box. We do not want to filter in place. I want to copy to another location. Because our cursor was in the data set, it guessed the correct list criteria range. We have an empty cell above, and then highlight the formula. That signals Advanced Filter dialog box to take that formula and copy it down in memory to get the patterns of trues and falses. Now I pick a location to load it to. And now when I click OK, I've extracted the items in list two that are not in list one without the helper column. Now bonus formula number one. That's our criteria area formula. And if I want the items that are in both lists, I change is and a to is number. When I hit Enter, now there's a new formula there. I come back over to anywhere in the data set. Instead of clicking the button, I'm going to use the keyboard, Alt-A-Q. And of course, it remembered. Now, Escape up in Formulas, Name Manager. Anytime you use Advanced Filter, you can see on that sheet name, there it is, it will create criteria and extract range defined names, Alt-A-Q. I want to make sure and say copy to another location. It remembers everything, so now I simply click OK. And now it's only the items that are in both. Now when we think about doing it with formulas like in the last two videos, those formulas will update instantly anytime anything changes. With Advanced Filter, it is easier in some ways because we have a single formula and we extract. But this solution will not update instantly. Now stay tuned, next video, of course, as many of you said in the comments, we can also do this with Power Query. All right, we'll see you next video. All right, here's bonus formula number two. What count ifs? Yeah, we simply give it the whole list number one, and then as a relative cell reference, the criteria, because Advanced Filter will take this formula and copy it down. Control Enter, let's just see what happens if I copy it down a few rows. I get a 0, a 1, a 0. Even if I got a 2, 3, 4, because there were multiple duplicates, we can use that formula by itself, because almost every feature in Excel interprets 0 as false, a number as true. So if we're interested in both, Control-Z, we can already see, yes, it counted 1, but that means it's in both. I click in a single cell, Alt-A-Q. Copy to another location. I want to change the criteria area. I want to change the copy to area. And now when I click OK, that formula alone will do both. If you wanted it not in list, you would simply go equals 0.